All right, let's talk about some more of the sales I found and all the sales I found for this video will be on sale at least until December 21st. I'll double check that for each one of them so there's no need to jump up and run out and get them even though I'm getting this weekend sales video out just a bit late. But anyways, on Steam, until the 21st, we do have Square Enix putting a lot of their games on sale. Regrettably, it doesn't look like any of the Pixel Perfect remasters are on sale, but there is at least one classic Final Fantasy game worth a pickup, and I'll let you know what that is. Anyways, um, first we have Final Fantasy VII Intrigrade. For its usual sale price of $34.59, I... So far, I've played through this on the PS4 and on the PC, and what I played is actually pretty decent. I love what they did with Midgar. The Midgar scenes in the original, the only color the city had was brown. This livens it up, both in the slums and above the plate. You get to see color, you get to see what it looks like below the plate, both the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's really a fun experience. The story's pretty good. They got some really good voice actors to voice Cloud in the gang, and they have a pretty decent battle system. So overall, I enjoyed this remake, and I do recommend. Maybe not so much over the original, although you won't see me recommend Final Fantasy VII for Steam if you have a console, mainly because the Steam version is a very old PC port that does have problems with, like, say... It just lists like the action button instead of the actual button list. So it's why I don't really recommend it when you consider just how mini game focused Final Fantasy VII can be sometimes. But the remake's pretty good. Moving on to Chrono Trigger. Square Enix did a lot to fix their version of Chrono Trigger because when it came out it was kind of crappy. While it's still not perfect, I only get to choose between a really bad smoothing filter or nothing at all. Square Enix needs to add a good CRT filter to make this game look good. But other than that, I can say this is a great JRPG. Some would say it's the best. I say it's definitely a top 10 contender. Basically, in the year 1999, a creature called Lavos bursts forth from the earth, causing an apocalypse. However, hope for humanity remains the past as a young boy named Chrono meets a new friend Morrow at the fair and her pendant cause a reaction to his friend Luca's new transportation machine and they accidentally create a time machine. As Chrono explores time and space and realizes what the future pertain, he starts to investigate Lavos and try to find a way to stop it from destroying humanity's future. Great pacing, great sense of story, memorable characters, Drawing inspiration from both the creators of classic Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, this game is an absolute gem and worth picking up if you've never played it before. Moving on to another classic gem, Final Fantasy IV 3D. I did a video a few months ago, and while I think the Pixel Perfect version of 4 is a good version of 4, I prefer the 3D version a lot more. There are more extras, better dialogue. And the Steam version has an easy mode that only makes one of the bosses impossible compared to all of them being a frustrating mess like it was on the DS version. It's a classic JRPG. This is a really great remake. Well worth checking out. If you don't mind, it's a DS port with a smoothing filter placed on it. And the UI is made for cell phones. But beyond that, I definitely think it's worth $6.39. Moving on to Final Fantasy XII. This is a perfect example of a mixed bag to me. It has some fantastic combat once you understand the battle system. It, at the time for PS2, is about as open world as you could get. It has some fantastic world building with different cultures, and the battles between them, and the Empire, and some of these other kingdoms. And they all have their own identity, and not all of them are completely evil or good. The only way they could screw this up is overlook all the interesting characters, to say, put in a character that is completely forgettable and is even forgotten by the plot. Oh, hi Van, how are you doing? <laughs> Still, it's worth $20. It'll give you about 60 to 80 hours of playtime. The combat is fun. It does a good job of mixing both real-time and turn-based combat. And the licensing system makes it almost perfect. Just ignore the story. I mean, 
Seriously, Square Enix, you had a James Bond mixed in with the Han Solo character, and you gave the main character protag seat to Bond? What the hell were you smoking? Anyways, let's move on to good old games. We have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is only $3.49. Good old game sales are going till January 5th of next year. This is an RPG made in a more civilized time. Before the EA. Before the Disney. It's still a good western RPG set thousands of years before Anakin Skywalker refused to take advice about the high ground. The Republic was under siege by a Sith named Darth Revan. However, he has disappeared, but his princesses are still causing trouble. You take a role of an amnesiac force-sensitive person as you find the Jedi, get training, and go about and see the mysteries that Revan left behind and try to stop the apprentices from screwing up the galaxy. The game gives you moral choices and based on your decision will either increase light or dark side points, and they're not always so cut and dry between good and bad. Throw in some interesting characters and this is a good game. Just a heads up, this is a mouse and keyboard only, but it really does work better that way in my opinion. Then we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This is a spiritual follow-up to Symphony of the Night. You got a lot of the people who worked on Symphony of the Night doing this game, and I think it's a pretty decent castle setup. It's really fun. It takes what was good about Symphony of the Night and improves upon it. It's got a pretty decent story, and I hope we do get a sequel one day. It's definitely worth $9.99. Then we have Bioshock Remastered, and since this is GOG, I don't know if it comes with the original Bioshock, but I preferred the remastered anyways, mainly because it didn't crash on me, but it's got some great textures. The game still looks beautiful, even though it was made 15 years ago. But basically, you're just a guy who was flying on a flight to Europe. He crash lands in the ocean, and he finds kind of this... Uh, hidden sunken city created by this very libertarian guy. However, since it is an extreme libertarian society and of course kind of collapsed into this dictatorship and what's left is nothing but really some mind control drug addict kind of freak of nature that you have to battle your way through it. This is a really fun game. I enjoyed all the story. I enjoyed just the way it was put together. Then we have Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger. This is a game that kind of shows that Arc System can give Capcom a run for their money when it comes to fighters. Despite this game being well over 10 years old, the graphics still look good, the animation and effects are great, and it actually does try to have a story with characters and solid motivations that make sense, both in the arcade and story mode. So I do recommend it for $1.49, I think it's a steal. Another game that, while I don't really get into as much a lot of people are like biggest hidden gem on the ps2 i don't think it quite deserves that but psychonauts is worth getting for a dollar 99 it does have some issues i did get a little frustrated with some of the platforming some of the final boss and hit detection towards the end kind of got really on the wrong side of crap but a dollar 99 i think this game is worth it it has a lot of charm and humor in its story and even though it's not always perfect. I do have to say the level design and what they were trying to do is very unique and worth checking out. So again, $1.99, it's a steal. You should pick it up. Anyways, this is um, Tommy the Game Master. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I will see you guys uh, probably, if not next week, two weeks from now. After all, next week is Christmas. I'll let you know if I see any good game deals then. Guys, see you later. Bye.